Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The markets have kicked off a very volatile week with the Australian dollar slipping further as the dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, regains further momentum up towards the region of 107.60. In light of the pattern, the market has taken out the support level of 66.15 and now looks towards a potential target of 65.45 and reassess from there. Technically, the market is holding somewhat heavy, so therefore we should be keeping a very close watch on the 60-day moving average in case it does draw a bullish response. But failing that, then the market would slip further down towards 64.85. The euro continues its decline since the top side rejection around 105 and now currently trading close towards the support level at around 102.15 minor. It is assessed that we could see that level go and look towards the region of 101.7580 and then reassess due to the technicals remaining somewhat heavy. The dolly yen took out the level of 140.65 overnight and surges up towards its next target of 143. In close to that level, could see a further rise beyond there to 145. But I feel the market is set up for further gains, and therefore any pullback should be shallow. Sterling was relatively quiet considering most of the currencies, and holds around the 118 region. In light of the pattern, we are still weak, and therefore could see the market take the t challenge towards 117.90, and with a key support level still holding around 116.85 to 90, which I feel the market will respect and maybe even see a modest bounce from that level. Gold was weaker overnight and getting closer towards its objective, which is at 1,726. Keep an eye on that level as we could see a small bounce from there or even profit taking coming back into play and therefore could see back towards that 56 area. But in light of the four day decline, I feel the market has still potential to slide further. Wrapping up with oil, the market was very whipsawed overnight and plummeted to its next objective, which was at 74.4080 after taking out the 78 level. But from the uh, rejection from that 74.4080, has posted a weak dragonfly doji. Keep an eye on this pattern as it could continue its upward move, and that is towards 83 to 84 dollars a barrel as a potential target. But this is only a weak candle, so it does actually give me some concern that the ADX is still trending bearish and quite strong, and therefore could actually dismiss the top side and see another challenge back to the bottom side of its range, which is anywhere around the 76 to 74 region. Well, that wraps it for the morning. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, look out for the Inch Day Report, and I hope you enjoy the great start of the day.